Did you know that if the population of one species becomes extinct, it affects an entire ecosystem? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we will learn about organisms and how they compete and depend on each other to survive. In an ecosystem, you will find both biotic and abiotic factors that interact with each other. This might take place in fresh water, marine, or a terrestrial ecosystem. Biotic factors are living things, such as plants, animals, and microbes. Abiotic factors are non-living things, such as sunlight, water, temperature, rocks, and soil. Both biotic and abiotic factors are important for the survival and growth of organisms and populations. An organism is an individual living being, and a population is a group of organisms of the same species that interact with each other and their environment. In an ecosystem, there are limited resources such as light, food, shelter, water, and soil. Because of this, different organisms and species compete with each other for these resources to survive. This is especially true when the niche of different organisms overlap and the population density is high. A niche in an ecosystem is the role that an organism or population plays in its environment. This can include the organism's behavior, habitat, and interactions with other living and non-living things in an ecosystem. Sometimes, we might have a high density of a population. In other words, we might have the same type of species that compete for limited resources in an ecosystem. This is known as intraspecific competition. An example of this is two male lions fighting with each other to defend their territory. They are both the same species and are both competing with each other. Different species may also compete with each other for resources. This is known as interspecific competition. For example, two different species of plants may both occupy the same niche in an ecosystem and compete for resources such as sunlight and water. The species of plant that has adapted better to its environment will outcompete the other. Organisms and populations in an ecosystem may also depend on each other for their survival. This phenomenon is known as mutualism. In mutualism, two or more species have a symbiotic relationship where they both benefit from each other. For example, a plant may rely on a particular species of insects to pollinate its flowers, and the insect may rely on the plant for food. Both organisms benefit from this relationship and depend on each other for survival. Let's review what we just learned. Biotic factors are living things, such as plants, animals, and microbes. Abiotic factors are non-living things, such as sunlight, water, temperature, and soil. An organism is an individual living being. A population is a group of organisms of the same species that live in the same area and interact with each other. When niches of different organisms overlap and population density is high, there's competition for biotic and abiotic resources. When organisms from the same species compete for the same resources, it's called intraspecific competition. When organisms from different species compete for resources, it's called interspecific competition. In mutualism, two or more species have a beneficial relationship and they are interdependent on each other for their survival.